Hello, hello, I'm Ziggy D Starcraft, and this morning I realised that there's only about seven days until Diablo 3 comes out. So I thought, what better way to prepare for Diablo 3's hardcore mode than to play some Diablo 2 on hardcore? So, warning: once a hardcore character dies, it cannot be played again. Are you sure you wish to create a hardcore character? I am sure. Now, what hardcore does is it gives you one life and no other added benefits. The um, benefit is purely a uh, mindset benefit in that you play the game a lot more slowly and a lot more carefully not wanting to die. So the first thing I'll do is just go through and make sure that I have the right settings for everything. Resolution. It looks like everything's still set up pretty good. Make sure that sounds nice and low. Auto map, mini map, yes, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to just get straight into it, and the entrance is to the north. So we're heading out in town and into the Den of Evil. I shall purge this land of the shadow. Now I will be playing a, a bow Amazon build in this, just a basic sort of hardcore build with plenty of vitality to keep myself alive. Um, the main reason I want to play a bow Amazon is that I'm pretty sure I'll be playing the Demon Hunter on hardcore on Diablo 3, and I I like playing ranged characters in Diablo games especially because I hate have to, having to manually click on each individual monster. I like being able to just stand there and um, throw or shoot from a distance without actually having to aim at them. I also like um, the kiting mechanics. Alright, so here's the Den of Evil. First mission objective is just to clear out everything in there. Up my volume just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'll just use my basic gear until I can find. Um, need those arrows. Yeah, there's not too much danger in here, but some of these brutes, if they, if they can get close to you, can take you down, and it's pretty embarrassing to die in, die in the first couple of minutes of a hardcore run. I think when Diablo 3 comes out, I'll be doing a let's play of the hardcore mode. Whoops, that was a terrible throw. So these guys are pretty hard to hit. So, um, getting this practice in is going to be helpful. Because I'll be able to see how... I want to be able to see how far I can get in Diablo 3. Alright, so we have our first level and just finish taking out these guys. Get safe. You always want to make sure that you're safe in Diablo before you enter any menus or equip your character or level up or anything like that, selecting skills, because the game doesn't pause when you do these things, and it can suck pretty badly to die while you're in a menu. Alright, let's just pick off these guys. Okay. Not being very careful with these. Alright, so one strength, two dexterity, and two vitality. That's what I'll be using um, throughout this run. Just getting the dexterity for plenty of bows and damage. Vitality to keep me alive even if I do. If I happen to screw up my kiting. And strength just to use some good gear. Um, now, as for passive and magic skills, I might just go straight for critical strike for my first ability, which gives you extra critical chance on all attacks. So it will help now, even though I don't have a bow. Alright, so we'll keep checking up here. Just want to keep our distance from these guys, they do hit pretty hard. Try and pick out the shaman first. There we go. The bad thing about those shaman is that they can raise those fallen behind you and you can run through the whole den of evil and then have to go back looking for one little fallen. Well, this is not good. I don't really want to get surrounded like that. I think there was some armor there I can get. Some other armor. There you go. They'll automatically equip that. Oh, 
missions. I'm gonna have to really stop myself from rushing. I'm used to just rushing through Diablo 2, but I want to get myself into the habit of slowing down for when Diablo 3 comes around. So I've got a second level again here. Now I've only got 15 javelin left. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Corpse Fire, the first unique. Um, so I was reading that uniques are going to be much more important in Diablo 3 than they were in Diablo 2. And I think um, in the, one of the developer videos I was watching, they said that some of the best gear and the best runs will be based around finding the randomly generated unique monsters rather than doing the set bosses. Which um, will be good because it will add a lot of variety to the game. And you won't just be grinding one of the mini bosses or one of the major bosses over and over. You'll actually be exploring out areas and making sure that you're getting everything. Alright, so... Doing level 3. And we'll get magic arrow for our first archery skill. I still have to find a bow, but I'll do a run back to town after this quest. Grab my skill point and see that guy there. Oops. Grab my skill point and I'll get a bow while I'm in town too, if I don't already have one. Five monsters remaining. <coughs> Mm, looks like I ran out of stamina. Ah, Diablo 3, there will be no stamina. I must say, I'm pretty happy about that. Playing a kiting character and running out of stamina is a pain. And filling up your inventory with stamina potions is not really the funnest thing to do in Diablo 2. So, taking out of those, like, just little micromanagement things that aren't really that important to the game mechanics are always a good, good thing to do in my books. Right now, I think I'll finish that quest, so I'll just use a town portal and be, be a bit quicker. <clears throat> Turn to Akara for my reward. And I'll just grab another critical strike for that. I'll sell any loot that I managed to pick up. I think I've got a bit of magic here, so. Corpse Fang, very nice. Bit of money. Nine plus to life. I'll just sell that for now, it's not really. Mm, I'll just get rid of these, get rid of all these mana potions. The um the trade system from what I saw in the Diablo 3 beta was pretty interesting. It was um very different to this where gear, even just like un unidentified and basic gear, is worth um, a lot more money than the drops typically. Typically drops will be much smaller than the gear value, so you're doing lots of gear runs. But um, from the Diablo 3 beta everything was worth 2 or 5 um, gold, while the actual drops ended up being much more than that, like in the hundreds of coins. So uh, that changes a lot for magic items, but um, it'd be interesting to see if that's going to be the same in the actual game. And it means that those gold pickup um, items that let you grab gold easier will be a bit more handy. Alright, so I think I'll cut off this first video here. Thanks for watching.